Hi guys, hope you're well. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I've got another delicious recipe for you to try. If you're new, hit subscribe to stay up to date with new recipes every week. Cheese balls or chicken filled fun sized cheesy goodness. Family favourite appetisers for holidays, get togethers, entertaining guests or anything really. These are always popular and a great way to get your party going. If you like this, please do give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's get started. The ingredients you will need are one cup of cubed chicken, one cup cheese, I have red and white here, one cup of pasta, and you can use macaroni or any small shaped pasta, one cup of mashed potato, I haven't completely mashed it, you still want a bit of texture when you bite into it, a handful of fresh coriander leaves, some garlic cloves and some fresh chilies, you can add a bit more depending on how spicy you want it, one tablespoon of jalapeno sauce, juice of half a lemon, one and a half teaspoons of cumin powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, salt to taste and some eggs and breadcrumbs for dipping. Okay so in my preheated pot I'm just going to add a little bit of oil and I'm going to add the chicken in and also the black pepper as well. And then I'm just going to mix that together I'm going to cook the chicken on low to medium and while that's cooking we're going to go over to our pestle and mortar and we're going to grind the chilli and garlic to a paste. As you know and if you've watched my previous videos I like to use one of these but you can also use a machine it's not a problem. I'm just going to add in the garlic and chilli paste and the cumin powder and the sauce as well. And the gas is on low and I'm just going to mix that in. The chicken and the spices have mixed in nicely, so I can switch that off now and I'm going to let that cool for about 10 minutes before I add the rest of the ingredients in. So I'm just going to add in the pasta, potatoes, cheese and some salt and some lemon to give it some zing. Finally, chop the green coriander inside. I love the smell of fresh coriander, don't you? Now I'm going to mix that all in and it's a good idea at this point to just give it a taste. If you need to add any salt, a bit of chilli, now's the time. Now we're ready to roll them up. I am going to roll them up into this size but it doesn't really matter if you want them slightly bigger or slightly smaller that's absolutely fine something like this right so that's done and depending on what size you make them you should get about 25 to 30 cheese balls and to help them hold their shape I'm just going to pop them in the fridge for about half an hour so they firm up so now we are ready to dip them in egg which I've beaten and breadcrumbs I find it easier to dip them in egg with a spoon and then I'm just going to take that and with my hands I'm going to coat them in breadcrumbs. That way things don't get too messy. Dip them in egg again, pop them back in the breadcrumbs and double coat them. So it looks something like this. Okay, I'm just gonna check to see if the oil is ready. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of breadcrumb. Yes, that's done. So let's get frying.
you need to fry them on medium to high heat and they should take so long to fry. Take them out once they're golden brown. There you go, all done. They should be golden color and cheesy like this. Goes great with most chutneys or sauces. Try it out, let me know what you think in the comments below or you can even tag me in a picture. If you've made this before, I would love to hear what you did different. If you enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up and to see more delicious recipes, do subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.